Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about new screen component that is action button in beta in summer 24 release. So if you want to learn this new feature so you can watch this video until end and don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn something new. So if you are new in this channel so you can subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, I already created one video about the summer 24 release, how we can access earlier before release. Watch out my video for more updates. So first of all, you have to do one thing. You have to create the flow. I will show you how we can call or let me explain first of all this new screen component action button, how we can access and how we can work on it. Right. So there is a new screen component called action button and it's a truly game changer starting with the summer 24 release you can run auto launch flow directly from the flow screen and pay attention that is completely different from the running sub flows and you can run automated or auto launched flow directly from a screen and receive an output so for the instance let's see how we can create this feature so first of all you have to create the flow click on this button create and you can see the flow so once you clicked on this flow you can create a new flow using this shortcut and it's open me a new window so here this is a new feature like a new flow template you can start from this scratch or you can use existing template okay i will show you these all the features regarding the flows in upcoming videos so please keep in touch so first of all in this video just i'm going to discuss about this start from scratch and click on the next and now you can see the screen flow and auto launch flow right so first of all you have to create the auto launch flow so i have already created what auto launch flow let me show you that one to you so just go to the here in quick find and search or you can see here that is uh, this auto launch flow that is rohit one okay you can create this flow very easy and very useful uh, to use this uh, flow inside the you know the screen flow so first of all let me deactivate let me create this flow from the scratch so you will get an idea about it i just deactivate this flow let me click on new flow and once you clicked on new flow select the start from the scratch and this auto launch flow create new here click on this plus icon search the create record you can change the variable name as you want this is the new one like create record one something like that and i want to create only one and uh, it's uh, from like a record selected on manual so let me select the manual object which object you want to perform this action like account on the account object let me delete this one name we can enter the name from the user inputs from screen flow or a screen right so you can create a new uh, let's say a new variable and here let's say enter anything as you want and you can use letter so right now i'm not creating any variable so you can just give the hard-coded value right now we will change this value as dynamically after some time right so now here you can see this is the demo and we can check the output and in the new resource so how to create that so let me create the variable and here api name is let's say acc acc output right acc output you can use it like that and it's like a text and this is the output variable right click on done and this is auto launch flow just click on the save let's say account auto creation something like right click on the save and once you clicked on the save button now our flow is saved now you can see the new feature as well that is inactive or active this is indicator right we will see these all features in the upcoming video so just click on this activate and once you clicked on this activate immediately you can see our flow is activated now you have to create another flow that is screen flow so let me click on the new flow here this is our account auto creation auto launch flow and this is a screen flow just select the screen like the screen create under here we have to create one screen so let me select the screen let's say screen one 
under this screen i need to enter some value from the user side so you have to take like text right so just here drag and drop this text enter account name something like that right and this under the account name we can use it anywhere as you want so this is the first way and another things let me remove it here you can see the new feature that is action button beta so we can use inside here and based on this button click we can perform this you know crud that is insert account right so just you can drag and drop this one and here api name you can give any name let's say acc account create something like that okay label let's say create account you can change the label immediately you can see the label okay action we can use our action account auto creation here you can see right api name is auto populated here and now input we don't have any input right now we can give the input variable if you want output we can see the output here like flow this is this all right so how to set up these things very easy and very useful just click on done first of all let me save this flow first let's say account new account new account create sun something like that click on the save button once you clicked on the save just go to the your auto launch flow under this auto launch flow just let me open this one and let me remove this uh, art coded value and create a new resource and this new resource take the input right so you have to create the variable let's say input acc record right and here we have to check like text and uh, that is a input variable just click on done click on the save as save it once you save it now you have to activate it once you activate it just open your screen flow refresh it and once you open the screen flow under the screen just double click on this screen under here and uh, this one action beta you can see like a uh, advance or you can see this one and it's the input type you can see the new variable that is set input type so we already created this variable inside the auto launch flow and you have to enable it here so just you have to do enable it you can enter this value from the you know enter account account name so just you have to do one thing just select this one enter account name that's all right after that this is the input one output we can show the output very easy and very useful way right so we can use it that output things here so just click on done save it once you save it now we have to test this one right so here you can see the acc output right this variable we already created inside the auto launch flow but we have to test it first this one. so just click on this debug let me open the account first like account and let's see how many records we have so just click on this one like all accounts you can see it's a 50 plus account like 55 right so let me create a new account it's asking like uh, enter account name let's say new account one something like that create the account once you clicked on the create the account again you have to refresh this list view and you will be seeing like 56 let me now you can see 56 and that is new account one that is recently created by me but how to uh, you know like end user how to know about it like account is created or not so we will see these things here so we have to modify our screen flow so how to use that so under the screen flow you have to use one display text so let's say display text so just put this one and let's say api name you can give any api name let's say acc account or create acc or record something like that. and now in display text we can so let's say create account something like that right and i want to show this text in middle so just select this one click this middle 
and now you can increase the size of this text so let's say 26 right and also i want to use my you know one trick i have created one custom level and based on that custom level i want to show the you know notification let's say success warning and error so right now i'm displaying the warning so how to use the warning so this is the global variable like custom level and just search like warning like flow warning right so this is the one if you don't know about it how we can set up this label and warning message success message you can watch out my earlier videos about the this uh, toast message right so just click on the done save it once you do something inside your flow again this is the best practice always debug your flow and once you debug your flow now you can check each and everything like this one so new ui will become like that like create account right let me add the success message as well so under here after this one i want to add my success message so you have to search like display text so just drag and drop here and this is a success one let's say success under here i have created another custom level for the success so you can use like success here that is flow success message after that let's say uh, that are meaningful uh, you know messages so account created successfully like that right do you want to open it or view it open it like that okay now i want to give some link here and based on link we can throw this message or you know redirect that uh, particular records so let me increase the size of this one let's say 20 and also like uh, 22 yeah enough so just click on this one done save it and again you have to debug it so once you debug it immediately you will be see this message directly let's say run now immediately you can see account record created successfully do you want to open it right so i don't want to show this message immediately based on this click i want to show this message so how to maintain these things so again just we have to use some conditional this is the display text so you have to select this one click on set visibility okay and here we have to use like custom conditions under the custom condition we have to check like uh, this message right so we have auto launch flow that is account auto creation and is success should be true that time i want to show my message that green message so this is the condition you have to check it here done it save this one again you have to debug this flow so just click on this debug and once you debug it this time you cannot see the green message as toast because we already hide it so based on this click you can show this button right so let's say new account to click on this create account now you can see account created successfully do you want to open it so uh, how to open that account i will show you here so this is the success message here right now let me close it now we can make it this dynamically like open link so under here after that we can use like link so how to make it the link to the record very easy and very useful so you can use here this link and here let's say click here something like that right this click here and url i have already created the url so just copy this url this is the basic you know your org based url so you can use it directly so after that in the url you can paste it this url and here let's say click me or click here something like that right click on the save button once you clicked on the save button immediately you can see this link here appear like this one click on done but we have some problem we have already hard coded some record id like one record id but how to make it dynamically i will show you here so just click run create the account let's say new account account three click on this create account now you can see the button right so account created successfully do you want to open it click on this button now i have created this new account record three like account three just click on this click here now you can see the different record so that is the problem so how to fix it 
we can fix it here using dynamic id so right now we have created this account that is new account 3 but you can see test account 11 or because we already added hard coded value like record id so how to maintain it so we can use this one right so after this one this message enter it and here we have to use newly created record id from the auto launch flow so just click on this account auto creation result and we have output like acc output this variable have the record id and based on this variable we can use it inside our you know this link so just click on this link double click here remove this hard coded record value and paste it your value from the expression like that click on the save button done save it and once you save it now you have to debug this flow again and once you debug it here click on the run let's say new account for something like that click on this create account and this time you can see account record successfully created do you want to open it yes i want to open it and please observe we have created new account for once you clicked on this link it's automatic open this record newly created record so just click on this one now this time you will be see the correct uh, record right so now you can see new account for right so this is how you can implement this x and beta a new function new method right so in the summer 24 so guys this is all about this new feature regarding this summer 24 flow so if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so guys please like share comments also subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya see you again bye bye